Hey, this is David Wells with Servals.com, and I'm proud to announce a new provider integration coming to the serverless framework. It is Spotinst. So Spotinst is a way to deploy your functions to multiple clouds and multiple regions all at the same time. And it leverages spot instant pricing to actually come in at around 50 to 80% uh, cheaper than other uh, fast providers. There's a full write-up uh, about this over on our blog. Make sure you check out that post and all the different kind of features and runtimes that spot instant supports. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump into the demo. All right, so in my terminal, we need to make sure that we have serverless installed globally on our machine. So if you haven't done that, run npm install serverless-g. Once you have the latest version of serverless, run the serverless create command, and that'll actually give us back the template that we want to use. So in this demo, we're going to use the spot inst node.js function. So let's go ahead and run sls create dash t spot ins dash node.js. So that's going to go ahead and generate a boilerplate for us. Let's go ahead and pop that open in Sublime. So in the handler.js file, um, here we have a named export uh, a function and uh, the familiar serverless.yaml. So instead of you know AWS or Azure, Google, etc., we have Spotinst here as a provider. And the other thing to notice is the plugins uh, array here. So we actually need to install the dependencies here uh, and install that plugin. So I'm going to just run npm install, and it's going to go ahead and fetch the serverless Spotinst plugin from npm. Install that in our node modules. And then we need to actually go into our Spotinst account and grab our environment ID. So if you don't have a Spotinst account, go ahead and set one up. And then you're going to want to come over to the Functions section and go into Applications. And what we want to do uh, in your fresh account is create a new app. So I'm just going to call this Demo3. Go ahead and save that. And if I click on demo three, we can see create new environment. So environment is very similar to staging or prod or you know QA. We're just gonna make this one a prod stage. And what's cool about Spotinst is actually I can deploy to multiple regions all at the same time. So I can choose a number of different regions and that will then go ahead and replicate that across the board. What's even cooler is I can actually uh, choose uh, multiple clouds, so cl cross cloud uh, integration here. So I'm gonna choose these three guys and uh, let's go with four. And I'm gonna save that. It will then create our um, environment, let us know the locations and the providers and give us back that environment key that we needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this Go back into my serverless.yaml. You can see this guy is commented out. And go ahead and paste in that environment key. Cool. So uh, now if I have configured my spot ins credentials on my machine, uh, I can just run a SLS deploy. But if you have not set up your spot ins provider credentials yet, you're going to want to run the SLS config credentials command. And that's all detailed in the docs and the blog post about the Spotinst integration. But basically, you want to pass it in the provider name, which is Spotinst, your account ID, and an API token that you generate inside of Spotinst. And you can uh, generate the API key under settings inside of your Spotinst. You can also grab your account ID here. So my account ID is right here. And I can generate an API token in the settings as well. So I would plug in those values, run the uh, SLS config credentials command, and that would then set up spot ins credentials on my local machine here. So I've already done that. So I'm actually just gonna run serverless deploy. So this is gonna package up my function, uh, read the serverless.yaml config, and pipe that into Spotinst. So there we go. So there's my live service with my hello function with all the relevant metadata about that and the live URL for me to take and plug into my application or whatever you want to do with that. 
And that's pretty much it for the Hello World demo. Uh, all the instructions for setting up your SpotInce provider credentials and some of the kind of benefits around SpotInce are in this blog post. Um, also our docs, all the supported um, serverless commands are in there. All of the supported uh, event types and a quick user guide is in there as well. Uh, feel free to ask us any questions, tweet at Go Serverless or tweet at myself, at David Wells. We'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy uh, deploying your functions into you know, multi-region cross-cloud setups um, and the kind of cost savings that go along with that.